come by, you can see I have a calendar snack dashboard open here on the left. On the right is my personal Outlook calendar here. And what I'm going to do is recap where I'm at in this process. I am essentially taking 190 plus events and I'm putting them into the organizer dashboard at calendarsnack.com. We do that by transporting that data um, through a simple process of taking it off the calendar. So the personal calendar here is mine. Um, I'm essentially Colorado Rocky fan at outlook.com. That, that is the name of myself and this persona in which I'm going into this personal calendar of mine and I'm inviting um, my create at calendarsnack.com address here, create at calendarsnack.com. And when I do that and send it, I'm sending data to our service, in this case here, this persona, Colorado Rocky fan at outlook.com. Now we started with 93 events. I'm going to send six real quick to the event dashboard. And you'll see uh, here in the end of this demo, I'm going to show your upcoming landing page that allows us to send calendar invites off of, which is really cool. So uh, again, I'm just going to fast create, create at calendarsnack.com. That'll be number two. We'll get rocking here. This will be number three. Create at calendarsnack.com. It's that simple. I saved a contact name to keep it fast and simple for the demo. You'll see that this is an earlier one, 1130. Carl Rockies at Minnesota Twins. I'm going to hit create at calendarsnack.com right there. And that's going to send that data. Uh, to my calendar snack dashboard. So that's Wednesday. I'm going to look to Thursday, which should be number five. Uh, so we've got number 98. And the last one will be 99, uh, which is the Pittsburgh Pirates at the Colorado Rockies here in Denver. I'm going to go ahead and hit another create and hit send. And the invitation sent. So that said, that data now is sent to. AWS, uh, where our product has been created, it's processing right now. And as I scroll down, you saw I had 93. Things go right for the live demo, I should have 99. You can see all my other events in which I use Crate at uh, calendarsnack.com, get in the dashboard. Let's take a peek at one. That data is already in the dashboard right here under view event. It's uh, right there. Uh, another one we'll take a peek at real quick, um, which would be under view events right here. Um, take a peek here. You'll see that uh, the deep data is right there. But not to get off track, that should be enough time here in the demo to allow the data processing side of it in AWS to occur. So 93, I'm going to hit a re flash here of the screen. I have 99. So six of these calendar invites were processed to my dashboard. And my dashboard uh, is right here. I'm going to scroll down and show you that there's no tricks. So 615, we go back here, June 9th to June 15th, we process six of those. And so when I go to my engine here, and we do a quick uh, pick a color theme here, I'm not gonna add any logos or background, which you can, you can change this background stuff. Um, I'm gonna add a few push pin buttons here. You can see that this live viewer does change. And for my upcoming page, when I click this button, we auto-generate a calendar snack landing page. We call it the upcoming page, obviously. And when someone puts their email address in there, like Zach at techvader.com, he can scroll down through here and pick out individual games in which he wants to go to uh, just by simply click, clicking the Add to Calendar button. It actually does send a real calendar invitation. So if I scroll in, uh, you can see that uh, these buttons actually do not just add to calendar, they actually send a real calendar invite. So if I always go back to the original data panel here, uh, we track all that in a reporting engine here. So all these events are individual, and you can actually see what's going on in individual reporting panel for these individual events. So I'm going to stop there.